The striped bass is the East Coast's most popular saltwater game fish. Anglers agree these are hard fighting, great tasting fish. What fishermen don't agree on though is the best way to catch them. Some say live spot is the best bait around, and others say soft plastic lures are the ticket to success. Let's find out who's right. <laughs> Today on Got Bait, it's BKD soft plastic jigs versus live spot. The kids are opting to fish with bait today because they've seen that stripers just can't resist a lively spot. But I prefer to fish with artificials. In this case, BKDs, also known as Bass Candy Delights. Rockfish love these things. My special guest fisherman and fellow lure angler for the day is Sean Kimbrough, the author of Chesapeake Light Tackle. Glad to fish with you, Lenny. Looking forward to a good day. He's what happens when you take a Tennessee hillbilly bass angler who's a total addict to fishing and bring him to the Chesapeake Bay. Well, somebody's got to teach you Yankees how to fish. <laughs> Might as well be a Tennessee volunteer, huh? The Got Bait crew is heading for an oyster bed near Thomas Point, just south of Annapolis, Maryland. This isn't where the striped bass are feeding. This is where they'll catch the spot for bait. The hassle factor for spot is huge. Not only do I have to spend time and energy catching the spot, I had to spend 10 bucks to buy bait to catch the bait. Spot are easy to fish for. All you need is a common bottom rig with little hooks and enough weight to keep it on bottom. Bloodworms are the best bait. When you're spot fishing, you want to make sure that your line is taut and on bottom because otherwise you won't be able to feel the spot bite your hook. Fish on bottom. Oh, got him. Sweet spot, just more bait. When you're spot fishing, it's very important that you set the hook immediately after the bite. Spot aren't included in our fish count. Once the teams start fishing for stripers, we're going to award each team one point for throwbacks, two points for keepers, and three points for fish over 30 inches. But Max spots a cow nose ray. Spot fishing suddenly takes a back seat. <laughs> Come on, bad boy. Turn this way. A little more. A little more. Almost. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. You break the hook. Oh, that was a good fight. <laughs> After the release, it's back to filling the live well. All right, Dad. Well, that makes about 20 spot. I think we're. Good to go fishing for real. Let's hit it. All right, we'll go for the rock. Okay, folks, we got our spot. What do you think, buddy? Should we go to our super secret spot? Let's do it. All right, we're off to one of my favorite middle Chesapeake hotspots. Where the bait will win. Not a chance. All right, we're here, buddy. Yeah, let's get to it. Sorry, folks, but this is a super secret spot, and I am not giving the GPS coordinates away. That goes double for you, Kimbro. <laughs> I was not going to let those GPS numbers appear on the screen. We're over a mile from shore, but it's only five to seven feet deep here. The tide rushes across this underwater plateau, and there are a handful of scattered rocky outcroppings on the bottom. Since we're fishing in very shallow water today, stealth is critical. We've got to be really quiet on these fish. Even though they don't have ears, fish have a very acute sense of hearing. They also have a very good sense of feel that's closely related to the lateral line. So the lateral line runs all the way down the side of this fish. It's a series of very sensitive nerves, tiny neuromass, jelly-covered hairs that can tune in on any movement in the water. So the worst thing you can do when you're over fish is to make a lot of noise. And one of the worst noises you can make is this right here. Just how important is the lateral line? Studies show it can override the sense of sight when fish are feeding. Which potential fish spooking sound is the loudest 15 feet under the surface of the water? 
A, an idling four-stroke outboard motor. B, a running live well or bilge pump. Or C, someone yelling, hey, I got a bite. Stay tuned. We'll find out the answer in the next segment of Got 